All right, welcome to my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. And on this video, we're going to be uh, taking you through my entire uh, morning or post shower uh, styling routine for my beard and my hair. I've um, been done several videos on my beard, but uh, recently over the past, you know, six, seven, eight months, I've been trying to regrow some hair and get back some hair uh, that I've lost. Uh, so that's been a fun journey, but I've also been experimenting around with different hairstyles and uh, using different hair styling products that they didn't have on the market back in the 90s when I had uh, more hair that I could actually do something with. So we're going to go ahead and kind of do a little tutorial as I walk you through everything. So I'm going to go ahead and get the video started over here, do a little commentary on top of it. Uh, but I've just gotten out of the shower here. As you can see, my hair and my beard are uh, really wet. So I'm going to put on my beard oil first. Um, I put a little bit more maybe than you might think. So it's probably a good nickel size amount. Uh, and I don't have a really, really long beard, uh, but I'm going to be protecting that from using the heat on it. Plus, uh, when you blast it with heat, it'll kind of dissipate both the scent and uh, the, the excess oil kind of get um, evaporated away, if you will. And now I'm going to be putting on my uh, hair styling product. So this, once again, is from the Bearded Mac. This is the matte paste. Uh, this is the best product I've used. Uh, it takes a little bit less than a pea size amount for my hair. Uh, and I like putting this kind on a lot better when my hair is wet. You, you can put it on uh, when it's drier, but it's like it's, it gets pretty sticky and uh, I feel like I'm, I'm pulling out hairs if I'm not careful. And you can kind of see how long that hair is, that hair uh, that I have on top of my head. A lot longer than I've, I've had since, I don't know, 20 something years. All right, so I've got my uh, Brio Vento hair dryer, which is the best one I've found. Uh, and it's got a bunch of different heat settings. If it's really cold in the house, I'll put it on 190. If it's kind of hot and humid in the house, I'll put it on 140, which is what I have here on this video. Um, so I'll put it on, there's three different settings, uh, speed settings. I'll put it on medium for my beard. And then for my hair, I'll put it on medium. If I get you know in a hurry, I'll, I'll put it up on high. Um, on that. So as you can see, I'm just kind of separating everything coming from underneath uh, on my beard. And then I'm coming from down from the top uh, to start to, uh, first of all, dry it, but also uh, straighten it out a little bit, get it to lay down a little more naturally. Uh, I could have put on my concentrator, but when you put on the concentrator, you have to be a little bit, uh, there's a little bit less room for error. Whereas if you just don't have it on there, you can, you're going to get heat to your, your beard and, and the air to it a lot, uh, a lot easier. Um, by the way, I have links for all of these products and tools and stuff I'm using, but that little round brush, I got that one. Uh, I saw that one from my friend Matt from No BS Beard Reviews. Finally picked it up after a couple years trying to find it on Amazon. Finally found it. Uh, it's great to actually style your beard and get it to hold. You want to, uh, everything to come from the outside instead of putting uh, more of the wave and stuff in your beard. All right, so uh, then I've gone through with the uh, boar's hair brush to kind of flatten everything down, and then I hit it with the cold shot. After that, this hair dryer's got the best cold shot that I've ever seen. My wife says the same thing, and she's used hair dryers a lot more than me. Uh, and then I think I just kicked it up into high gear uh, and put it back on the uh, the heat there, which was 140, and just trying to dry everything. And, and I'm getting I'm getting more volume to it. Um, that way, the part here that's a little bit on the thinner side is actually going to stay a little bit better. And that product, that matte paste, is the best thing I found for uh, if you've got thinning hair. It'll make it feel more substantial, but also not weight it down and make it clump together unless you want it to. Um, if you use some some pomades and stuff that makes it gives you a little more shine. Uh, I tend to not like that. It makes my um, my sparse spots look even worse to me. Um, so I'll use a, a variety of things. I will use my my hands, as you see. I will use the um, uh, the, the wide tooth um, brushes or, or combs that I've got from uh, Chicago comb, the number seven, I believe it is. I use that a lot. Uh, and then at the end, I'll do something that most guys probably don't use. And that's if you're looking for the more natural, um, you kind of want the finger wave kind of idea on it. I can, I'm using my little spin brush there if I want to try to get a little bit more volume out of it on those places here. And then I'm going to put on the... Uh, diffuser which is going the opposite of the uh the concentrator all right which you use a lot for your beard when you put on the diffuser it's almost like uh, well, it's diffusing it so it's like you know when the ladies would send underneath the uh, hair dryer at the beauty salon so you can do that and it'll keep everything nice and um 
It'll keep it from getting overly straightened. So if you're looking for the natural, the wavy, the curly look, you want that. In fact, you'll see you can go all the way down and actually put this in your head and kind of create the curls in the natural waves uh, by kind of moving it around so you can enhance uh, the curls if you want. Or if you want it the other way, you could like take, um, you know, a boar's hair brush or a, something with more bristles and actually straighten it out more. So and, in fact, I kind of like doing both. I like straightening it to start with and then going back and kind of enhancing the, the natural uh, waves uh, on it. As you can see, I'm doing there. And then at the end, you can still use the cold shot. Uh, and then when you put the cold shot on, that'll reinforce it, kind of lock it in even more. <laughs> And the fun part is at the end, you've got this big old hair. And I'm like, am I going to get this to calm down and to, to go into a style I want? Uh, which sometimes is a chore. Uh, things I found over time that, that kind of helps with that. So there's my um, Chicago comb. So I'm trying to put a little bit of direction into it uh, without flattening it down. So I use that. It's got kind of wider, wider bristles. Trying to find a place there where my hair usually parts. Uh, and if, it's, if I get it cut shorter, I can um, go without the part. Uh, but in this case, I'm trying to go with the part to get it to kind of cover, uh, kind of swoop around there the way uh, it's growing kind of naturally here. Um, so as you'll see that, it's not a wet look. It's not shiny, uh, but you still see a lot of kind of natural fullness and the waves um, kind of help, not necessarily hide. Uh, but if you're looking for that straight pomade kind of pompadour look, that's not going to work with the hairline that I have. So one that's more broken, it's got more uh, waves and natural features to it, I think is better for me. Uh, and as you can see, I'm not a hair model. I'm just kind of sharing the stuff I've learned. This is real life. Um, sometimes I fight with it. Uh, sometimes I don't like it. I've never really not liked it enough to go wash my hair and start over. But you can see there, I've covered up my, my, my big bald spot in the back. It's kind of covered up pretty well. It's a little bit of a comb over, but a little bit of a regrowth too from my minoxidil and, um, uh, finasteride that I've been using and now I'm going back and putting in the beard butter so you can put in beard butter or uh, more oil if you're an oil only person or you can use beard balm beard wax to lock that in a little bit more but also give you longer lasting protection if you just use that oil and then use the hair dryer and not use anything else the rest of the day my beard would be a little bit dry by the end uh, and then sometimes I go back and kind of put more fullness into it. That's why you see me kind of picking it out and going everything back over top of it uh, just to keep the fullness in here to keep it from looking so narrow. That's for me uh, where I'm at with my beard right now. Uh, by the way, this was about a week ago. I hadn't had a chance to come in here and film the video, put everything together with that. But uh, there you can see the after and here it is about a week later. I am uh, probably going to get a haircut here in the next couple of days because right in here is getting getting on my nerves. Uh, anyway, it's a fun experiment. I'm going to keep experimenting around with different products and sharing some things uh, here and there. But let me know uh, what uh, hair products have you guys uh, found that you like. It's just totally different than the way it was, you know, 30 years ago when I was a teenager. Um, you really had then would you have mousse and gel and hairspray and all of those once your hair got locked into place that you either stayed or if you comb through it like all that stuff just went away whereas now with these pastes and the pomades and stuff you get that kind of not exactly natural but you get that uh, stiffness to it but it's also malleable and that kind of stays all day long you can go reset your hair anytime without having necessarily to add more products which is pretty cool anyway as i said i'll put links to everything down below if you have any questions or any comments please put them below as always appreciate you guys watching we'll see you soon for another video